Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WooCommerce theme development tutorial. This is our partner for T. Inside this video session, guys, we will discuss that how can we add our own custom logo to our custom store. Now, if I back to admin panel, now this is our let's say our front page of this shop. Now we want to customize let's say all about this logo. Now the same URL I have opened into the private window of this Chrome and here as we can see that we have a simple text called start bootstrap. So instead of this static message, we want to customize this logo as well as from WordPress customizer or let's say we want to post our custom logo instead of this simple message. So how can we customize that? If we go here let's simply customize and inside this customize click on let's say here site identity and right here as we are not able to see the select icon here we will have let's say site icon but right now there's no way to actually load that site icon right here because if we back to editor Inside this header.php, we will have this start bootstrap as a static content. So first of all, also we have to make this dynamic content to accept the logo what we have set inside from the admin panel. So first thing first, without changing this message means instead of this changing static message, now let's go ahead and create a an area to upload our custom logo inside customizer. Now if I back to admin panel, right now there is no way to upload any image. This is for site icon, not for our custom logo. Simply how can we understand if we go inside this appearance, click on themes and let's say that we are going to activate this 2019 theme to understand actually what I mean to upload our custom logo back to customizer and remember here we have the activated theme as 2019 now if I reload this customizer this is what we have the left side for of our custom 19 and here we have the theme now if we go inside this site identity and inside this customizer as we can see that we have a logo like our area to upload any image from our system to this store so the same reason one we want to develop so back to editor open about functions.php and inside this functions.php we need to add a theme support so let's say that add theme underscore support and inside this we have the key called custom logo inside this putting an array we can specify all about the custom attributes so let's specify some image attributes like height and width what we want for our custom logo so here I what I will do let's say height equal to we want something 90 pixel width equal to 90 pixel let's say here all about flex height equal to true it means it will be adjustable and let's say flex underscore width equal to true now after adding these few lines of code it means we are telling our custom theme that it is going to support a custom logo feature with all these specified attributes now after saving all these changes back to our theme panel click on simple bootstrap theme and activate that back to the front page layout and if i reload of this 2019 customizer here we'll have our simple bootstrap theme go to site identity and as we can see that we have a select logo option this is the custom reason actually we have added by adding these lines of code back to browser so if i reload this page again and this time we're going to select the icon from let's say site logo from our system 
Now if we click on that, select logo, it is going to open all about WordPress default media gallery. So here we will have two options, either we can upload a new file from our system or we can choose any of the like images from this media library. And here as we can see that suggested event dimensions equal to 90 by 90 pixels. And this is the message what we are seeing here all about selecting image dimensions. Remember this is the dimension what we have set inside this custom attributes of custom logo. So simply if we select more image like size of an image more than that then it is going to automatically crop that image while selecting an area of that. So let's say that I am to upload a new file for our store icon. Click on select file and here inside this we will have a store icon.png image and to open that we are uploading our image inside this media library. Click on select and it is now asking for a crop image. Remember we have specified 90 by 90 pixel. So simply this is the area. Click and crop this image and successfully we have uploaded our store icon. This is store logo now this time we need to render this store logo inside this static message. Now back to editor press ctrl b go to header.php and inside that we need to put some condition. So remove this static message first and let's say that inside this PHP code we will have some WordPress functions that actually we need to use. Simply first of all let's say that if or instead of if simply we are going to use the custom logo. Now this is a WordPress function which is going to take the custom logo what we have stored inside our database by putting this and it is going to retrieve and put here instead of this start put stop message. Now if we save all the changes go and reload this page. So if we haven't saved this file so save this file first go and reload this page and this time we don't have any message. So site identity select logo click on this icon select crop and as we can see here that our custom logo is now appear inside this header. We can create much attractive icon apart from this. Simply if I click on publish back to our site reload this page and here we will have the store icon. This is the store custom logo we have set from the admin panel. Now let's say that if suppose we have removed from here so click on remove, click on save, go and reload this page. Now this time we don't have any logo. So first of all before using this we need to check that we have either any uploaded custom logo or not. So for checking all about the existing of custom logo also we have another WordPress function is something has custom logo. This is going to return all about the true and the false value. So if suppose we have custom logo then this function is going to return the true value and we are going to execute that. Or simply if suppose we don't have any logo then in that situation what I will do let's echo we will have a blog info function. This is the WordPress function and we want all about the site title. So if suppose we don't have any logo then the title what we have specified inside the admin panel will appear here. So go and reload this page. Now as you can see that WooCommerce theme development update this is the title actually what we, ha we have specified. So if we want to customize this simply go inside this settings, click on general and inside this we will have the site title. So simply let's say 
my store now if we click on save changes successfully saved our settings go and reload this and here it's my store also we want that inside this anchor tag instead of this has symbol we are going to use uh, another wordpress function from something called home url and we want to redirect at the home so if we save this change go and reload this page so right now we are under this shop page now if we click on that it is going to redirect on our like our shop url this is home url of this theme as well also if we are under this about us page simply click on that now we are at the home page of this website and if suppose we have added any custom logo uploading an image select crop that image click on publish and as we know that this time this code is going to return the true value so that's why instead of this title we will get this custom logo so save all these changes reload this page and here we will have our custom store icon so simply guys inside this video we had seen that how can we add our custom site logo to a custom store so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day